my fellow Americans, I am not a politician. I am not one of those entertainers either here to sing you a catchy song about my favorite candidate. Because unlike most people on TV these days, I ain't interested in who you're voting for. I am simply here to tell you that you have been tricked, fooled, bamboozled, hoodwinked, run amok, led astray by leaders who claim they are committed to unity, but truthfully seek division. See, while their smiles say peace, their eyes scream war, their words say fresh and new. But haven't we heard this song somewhere before? And so I come to you through your screen today with one question and one question only. How long? How long will we look for leaders to save us? Somebody's got to say this. How long will we believe that the next leader's going to be better than the last one and fix everything? How long until we see the truth up close? That our politicians don't see people. They see votes. How long until we see that the media's first priority is ratings? Second is their investors and coming in at third is the truth. How much proof will it take before we wake from this dream and see that the answer to our problems are not outside of us, nor inside of us. The answer has always been and will always be us. Do you know what the most translated phrase in any language is? See, many would have you believe that it is my country's better than yours or my race is better than yours or I'm right, you're wrong. But no, it is I love you. Yep, love. This four-letter word that explains exactly who we are before we were misled with ideas of who they told us we were. Love is our natural state, so coming back to that is the answer to every problem we face. Love may not be on the ballot, but it's in the race, and that is who I endorse. Anyone who does not believe that love is the answer has yet to experience the strength of this great force. In 1967, two little-known heroes named Mildred and Richard Loving fought a battle for their love. And love won. These two average people rewrote the laws of this country single-handedly. And today, people of different races can get married and start families. See, humanity is filled with examples like these. But this is the one I mentioned because it expresses that you don't have to be president or a politician to make a difference. A tiny stone thrown in a pond can create tremendous ripples. And today we need more ripples than ever before. Can we really afford any more business as usual? Haven't we had enough of the love of power? Let us now try the power of love. This election, every election, every day, every moment of your life. Vote love. Vote loving. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, today on trial we have modern day schooling. Glad you could come. Not only does he make fish climb trees, but also makes them climb down. It is getting to the end of life only to realize that you never truly lived.